Hello Team SMG and welcome to another weekly update. We're halfway through the month of September and we are just out there rocking and rolling. We've actually got a couple salespeople that have written over $60,000 and like I said we're only halfway through the month. All the stores are looking pretty good. Rockland's off to a slow start. If you look in the computer they have a great expl explanation and that is that they're doing traffic construction work basically all the way around their store and it's really difficult <laughs> to, to, to park or to drive in or, or to get there right now but uh, anyways all the other stores are doing great so thanks for the hard work and keep uh, selling 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 hey this week I'm gonna break down the video into a couple different categories first we're gonna talk about some products and warranty and then we're gonna talk about some sales things okay so first off Product wise, I want to talk about the new DuPont, made by DuPont, or not made, but the fibers made by DuPont, Serona Smart Strand Silk. If you felt it on the floor, this is the Master Texture Series, like 132, 133. If you felt it, it feels like Egyptian cotton. It's luxurious, it's soft, it's dense. I mean, it's just unbelievable that they can make a carpet feel like this. I mean, it used to be, to feel something like this, you had to do, like, really expensive uh, linens, bed sheets, things like that, uh, real expensive uh, clothing. But now they've been able to take the technology and actually make carpets out of it. So get familiar with it. It's going to become really popular. I know a number of people have asked me if I thought it would wear well, and I'm sure it will. You know, obviously it is a petroleum-based product, as is all carpet fiber. Uh, what makes this one a little bit different, though, that being a uh, Serona Smart Strand, that it's 36% comes from corn. So it's a green renewable resource, which is important to a lot of people. But uh, the product itself is just absolutely fabulous. It's a little bit pricey, which, you know, you kind of expect that. Uh, but it is just a wonderful feel. And uh, check it out. Get familiar with it. And um, I would encourage you to, as you're talking about it, to rub your hands over it. That's a great sales technique. And it's important that you handle samples, hand them to your customers, so that they feel comfortable feeling the products and handling them. You know, that's the difference between shopping in a live brick and mortar store versus like shopping over the internet. We want them to experience the products and when you're experiencing a, a carpet like this, the softness, it's imperative. It's an absolute must that you get the customer to feel it, run their fingers through it, take their shoes off, lay it on the pad, step on it, things like that. So, uh, but get familiar, great product. Next thing I want to talk about is our quick ship wall along with our stock samples. We're in the process of changing out the old warranties, the old clay Chateau, and putting on the new warranties, if you will. So that's probably going to take us another week or so, week and a half. So our goal is to have it done by the end of the month. So bear with us. If a customer does come in and purchases something that had an old warranty, let's say it had the old Chateau warranty, it's cool to use the old warranty uh, folder. You know, all the stores still have some. I have no problem with that. But Hopefully, like I say, in the next couple weeks, those all be ch changed out. Another thing, I'm sure you've all noticed by now that the pricing in the computer does not match the stock and quick ship wall. It does not match the flip cards either. Unfortunately, when we started this process, we had some computer problems and printer problems, which are rectified now. So Miss Carol in San Jose is busy as she can be trying to knock out all the signs for all the stores. And I'm hoping we'll be able to get those out in the next week or so. But you, you know how big of an undertaking, what a project that was to make all the signs. So uh, give us a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, and those will all be changed over. Okay? Uh, next thing I wanted to talk about when it came to products was the warranties while well, we're still on the carpet thing and obviously this is the new warranty booklet and someone brought something up to me uh, was mentioned that on page 14 of the new warranty booklet uh, it talks about carpet installation and there's a paragraph oh, almost in the middle that talks about unrolling your carpet so that the um, the smell can off gas if you will now carpeting has been scrutinized for years and years and years and there are no volatile VOCs, as if you will, there are no dangerous ones, although there is a new carpet smell that takes anywhere from a day to two days to dissipate. In our literature, we talk about unrolling the carpet and letting it breathe for a day or two before it's installed. Now, 
why I'm bringing this up is that obviously we're not going to do that. Okay, We don't have the facilities or anything like that. However, it's important for you to tell the consumer that there will be a new carpet smell. It's a great idea to leave your windows open, maybe circulate the air a little bit if it bothers them. It's like new car smell. Sometimes it bothers people. A lot of people are going to love this smell and they're going to close up their, their home even tighter so that it lasts longer. You know, it's just a difference of opinion and, and how sensitive you are to the smell. But I was uh, a little concerned because this is in the new booklet and it came to me like it was a big deal. But I got to tell you, it's been in this booklet that we've used for the last few years, the exact same verbiage. It was in there, and it wasn't a problem. So, uh, so kind of, uh, I don't know if we just never read this one, and you weren't aware that was in there, but it is in there. So it's not no big deal. We're not going to unroll rolls of carpet and let it air out. But it's important that the consumer knows that there will be a new carpet smell. It doesn't damage them at all. It's not toxic. There's nothing like that. Nothing to worry about. It's just got a new carpet smell. Okay. Uh, next thing I want to talk about when it comes to products is in your Armstrong wood rack. Over this past week, the Armstrong reps have gone out and put up some new wood samples. Uh, there's two new lines. Uh, one is called Rustic Accents. The other one is Frontier. Carol will be making a sign for that, hopefully coming out in the next week or so. The Global Exotics, their thin exotic wood is discontinued. So they came out with these two new ones to fill the space in the rack. So if you get a minute, take a look at it, check it out. It's kind of a me too product, nothing overly great or exciting. Um, but it's in the rack just so you're not caught off guard. Okay? Now, second part of the, the weekly video, we're going to talk about sales. Kind of uh, some do's and don'ts, if you will. Uh, and basically, I've got four points to make. And these are reminders. Uh, number one, we don't email bids. Okay? We do not email bids. We do not email bids. The reason why. Okay? There's a couple. First one is, we want to present the bid in person. When you're directly across from the consumer, it gives you an opportunity to talk line by line to go in depth, in detail, what we're going to do. Okay, We are one of the few companies that prints bids and does everything spelled out. Okay, Matter of fact, I don't know anybody that does it into the, to the degree that we do. I'm sure you've all seen the people that write, you know, carpet your house on the back of a business card for $4,000 customer has no idea. At S&G, we're full disclosure. We have nothing to hide. In fact, what's our thing about why we itemize bids? Because we want to be held accountable. And if a consumer gets a bid from another company and they don't itemize their bid, chances are they're probably hiding something or they're not comfortable with what they're doing. Okay. And as you all have heard the stories, a lot of stores like to do those add-ons after the fact. So they quote the price, and then the you know it's like, oh, there's additional floor prep, there's extra this, extra that. Obviously, we don't play that game. You know, we're upfront, honest, and when you present the bid in person, it gives you a chance to relay all that information, as opposed to hitting, you know, just send the bid over. The consumer looks at it on their computer. They can't really make heads or tails out of it. And you know, candidly, we lose a lot of sales that way. So uh, we hire full staff in all the stores so that you can present in person. Okay, so we do not want to email bids. And actually, as we track the bids, the more times we email, we're much more vulnerable. We lose a lot of bids that way when you email them. So try not to. I know there's always exceptions, but whenever possible, tell the consumer we want you to come in so we can review the bid in person so there's no misunderstanding, so you know exactly what you're paying for, you know exactly what we're going to do for you, and you're going to be thrilled with the service we're going to give you. Okay. Second thing I want to talk about, mentioned a few weeks ago, customer lobby. Okay. You go to our website at the very top, there's a, a bar called Customer Lobby. Over the last, I guess it's been up there a couple, three months now, we have 10 reviews. Okay, We haven't really added any as of late. And actually in the Bay Area, there are hardly any reviews up there. I need for you guys to start mentioning to the consumer to give us some reviews, positive reviews on Customer Lobby. We're currently getting about 4,800 people a month going to our website. The customer lobby page is getting a lot of hits on it. We've got to get more good reviews on there. Okay, Check it out if you're not familiar with it. 
Next thing I want to talk about, staying in program. What's that mean? We've got a lot of new people. When I say staying in program, that means we sell what we have on the floor. Okay? We don't chase other people's product. Customer comes in and says, can you get this carpet? Can you get this product? What you do is you take it, you look at it, you think about it, and then you go through our store to find what's on your sales floor to sell them. Okay? If the customer is totally enamored and loved that product, they would have purchased it already from the other store. What they're saying to you is, I like it, but I'm not ready to buy that one. I'm looking for something a little bit different, a little bit better, less expensive, better warranty, whatever the reason is. So, we do not chase the other guy's products. We play in our strengths. We play in our ball game. We play with our home field advantage, which are the products we have on our floor. Okay? Last thing I want to talk about is our low price guarantee. The beauty of this is that says we'll beat any written bid by 10% as long as it's based on the same uh, product, same warranty, uh, same installation, same everything. And we've had that up there for now two and a half years and we've had to honor it maybe three or four times. The reason being is nobody does what we do. Nobody is as good as we are. Nobody is as honest as we are. Nobody itemizes bids like we do. Nobody tells the consumer what we're going to do for them like we do. Okay, and I'm here to tell you that I've been in, I've had a lot of projects done at my house when it comes to home renovation and things like that. And probably the most important single thing I can tell you is that it never goes smooth and they always ask for more money at the end of the deal. It's happened to me probably 15 or 20 different times. Okay, there's extra this, there's extra that. <clears throat> you know, I've had swimming pools dug where they say the ground was too hard, I need more money. I've had landscaping done, I've had walls painted, I've had, you know, all kinds of stuff done. And there's always two things that are common. It never goes smooth and they always want more money. And you think about it, if you've ever done work, had work done at your house, you can almost testify to the exact same thing, I'd be willing to bet. SNG is not that way. We give you the straight deal, we give you the fair price, and we take care of it, and we do great work. So remember, nobody does what we do, okay? And we're extremely competitively priced. So take that to the bank, all our competitors. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Have a great week. Keep hustling and keep writing those orders. Take care. Bye bye.